Well, one of my favorite things to do at Christmas is to sing and play carols. And whilst Christmas 2020 has been very different to most, we still have the wonderful opportunity to sing and perhaps play Christmas carols to our heart's content in the privacy of our own spaces and homes. In fact, some will be relieved that is the case. I won't mention any names, of course. But if you were to identify one Christmas carol as your favorite, what would it be? It came upon the midnight clear, once in Royal David City, silent night or away in a manger. Hark the herald angels sing, while shepherds washed, I mean watched, their flocks by night. O come all ye faithful, in the bleak midwinter, we three kings, or the first Noel, perhaps. Apparently, Classic FM invite listeners to vote for their favourite Christmas carol every year, and the result for 2020 will be announced today. But Songs of Praise did something similar, with the outcome sharing my own personal opinion and announcing the nation's favourite carol as O oh, Holy Night. According to The Telegraph, Carol experts say it's the song's pop light qualities that give it the edge over its competitors. But for me, it's the melody and chord sequence, as well as the frequency of watching Home Alone at Christmas that leads me to this conclusion. But I want to speak about another popular carol today, O Little Town of Bethlehem, and specifically one line from the carol which holds so much relevance for us in this COVID year. The hopes and fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. We have probably hoped and feared in equal measure this year, with fear for our lives as well as our health, with fear for the life and health of others, Fear for our global economy, as well as the livelihoods of so many people facing government restrictions and closures. We have hoped for good health and for the well-being of others. We have hoped for a return to what so many call the normal pre-COVID life and tried to meet these hopes and fears in many different things. Christmas it was itself a hope that has been dashed. And the COVID vaccine is another recipient of our hope and fear. Philip Brooks, the lyricist for O Little Town, suggests, however, that we should look to another recipient. To the Christ born of Mary in a little town called Bethlehem. And of course, he only echoes what the Bible tells us, announced by the angel to shepherds in Luke chapter 2, that in the town of David, a saviour has been born for all the people. Anointed and chosen by God to accomplish the work of salvation, to rescue humankind from sin and mortality, as well as bring the blessings that will meet the needs of humankind. This Jesus wrapped in swaddling clothes offers every one of us sure and lasting hope taking to the cross as well as the manger to die for our sins, for our wrongdoing, and enable a lasting relationship with the creator God today, as well as with the promise of everlasting life beyond the grave. Jesus is the one who conquers all fear, not only being the mighty God of Isaiah 9 verse 6, but defeating and disarming the powers of darkness and death as he rose from the grave and triumphed over them by the cross. With faith and relationship in him, we have no need to fear. Though the earth give way and the mountains fall into the heart of the sea, because the Lord Almighty is with us. It is thanks to this Saviour's birth, as well as his death and resurrection, that we can cast all our cares and burdens unto God and say with confidence, where, O oh death, is your victory? Where, O oh death, is your sting? With no one and nothing else giving us that same confidence. 
Jesus himself said in Matthew 24, verse 35, heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away. In other words, whilst all else is temporary and fading, he alone is our firm, sure and certain hope, the irreplaceable saviour of the world. My testimony for 2020 has really been about knowing the presence, stability, and eternal promise of God when all else fails, breaks down, or fades away. When I have felt lonely, he has been there. When I have felt weak, he has given me strength. When I have known grief, he has comforted and reassured me. When I have needed direction and wisdom, he has inspired me and led me on. When I have needed hope beyond this virus, beyond illness and the inevitability of death, he has provided me with the promise of life and life in all its fullness. And the same can be true for you if you will receive him. So my prayer, as we each celebrate the Saviour's birth today and prepare for another year in 2021, is that the dear Christ would cast out our sin and enter in, be born in each one of us today. And that as he abides with us, he will bring both his peace as well as his blessings from heaven. Amen.